Hey, what's up everybody? Here's another water comparison video. Tonight we're comparing these three waters. First up is Goddess of Water. This is water from Spain and a neat little pouch thing. Next up is these two waters. These are waters for a CPAP machine. These are both distilled waters and they both look like almost identical. They're the same size and shape, just different color lid. And uh, apparently they're from different companies, but they look exactly the same. And uh, so we're going to compare these three and I'm going to do a taste test, and the winner is going to move on to the next round. First of all, I think that this water is going to win because it's made to be drunk. These two aren't really made to be drunk and consumed. They're just made to not have minerals, and they're made to be put into a CPAP machine. So I'm guessing the middle one's going to win. Okay, so these two waters I got over a year ago on Amazon. This one was $10 and $5.40 shipping. This one was $7, which are both insane prices for this small amount of distilled water. Normally, if you go to a grocery store, you can get a gallon for like one or $2. So this tiny amount, at first glance, it sounded crazy to me. But apparently the reason people buy these is for traveling. I guess with the TSA, uh, <laughs> with the TSA, if you bring a CPAP machine with you on the flight, then you're allowed to bring one of these bottles with you. If it was just a regular gallon of distilled water, I guess they wouldn't allow it apparently, according to the Amazon page on this. I've researched it a little bit and people have said that even with these special bottles, they still weren't allowed to get through TSA. I guess just some TSA agents don't know all the laws or maybe the laws change or something, but I think it's insanely overpriced for everyday use. Next up is Goddess of Water. This was free. This company actually reached out to me and they were kind and they mailed me several uh, pouches of this and it uh, came through FedEx today and it woke me up. They came very early. <laughs> Pounded on the door and woke me up. Uh, this is from Spain. This has a high pH level. This is a 7.5 pH. You can find more info at goddessofwater.eu. This is from Spain, so half of the text on the bottle is in Spanish. And half is in English. They also have a you know Spanish version of the website. But apparently this is all about the environment and um, helping the earth. And it's supposed to be 100% recyclable. It's supposed to use 50% less CO2. And it's supposed to support some charity. That website, it's, it's like all in Spanish. So I wasn't really 100% sure what that charity is about. But uh, based on the pictures and just the clues, I think it's about helping build wells in Africa. So I guess they support that. It's a neat little pouch. Uh, it's very like shiny on the bottom. And there's shiny parts up here, which look nice. It's about like Mother Earth. Nice little logo there. Got some shiny parts there, which is neat. A weird thing about this pouch is that you have to keep rotating it. Like you hold it here at first, and if you turn, the text is sideways. So you have to rotate it like that. And then you go into the back, and the text is upright again. And then down here, the text, you have to rotate it. And then you go a little further, and the text is upright again. And then you go this way, and you have to like, you have to rotate it again. <laughs> so I, I think it's kind of a weird design, like, you should just have it all sideways or all up and down. Um, but that's just a little nitpicky complaint. It looks a lot like the flow water, you know, with the pouch, the same size and the cap and whatnot. With the CPAP water, like I said, it's not really made to be drunk. So it's kind of, it's unfair of me to do this. I was going to do a whole video with just these two, but it seemed like a waste. I don't have that much to say about some CPAP water. And um, these are vapor distilled. I kind of wonder if these are from like the same company or... I mean, they, the bottles say that they're bottled in different places. One is in Georgia, one is in, like, New Jersey or something. I don't know. I, I wonder if, if they're related somehow, because they look so similar. And they have, like, you know, the logo and then the website right underneath, and then they say the same information on the side. So I wonder if they're connected somehow. And this one, their website doesn't even work anymore. So maybe this is, like, an old version, and that's a new version or something. Let's open them up and do a taste test. Here we go. No smell. Kind of like a plasticky taste. On this company's website, there was like a testimonial from a doctor, and he was saying that it's beneficial to use a new bottle of this every single night. He's saying something like, it's better to use this instead of a one gallon bottle because you won't get impurities from opening and closing the bottle or something like that. I'm just paraphrasing him, but 
I think that's insane because you know, how, what kind of impurities are you gonna get from just opening the bottle? Here's the CPAP chamber. The whole idea of using distilled water is so that minerals that are in the water don't build up inside of here. So if you use tap water, there's just natural minerals and calcium and whatnot that will build up at the bottom. And the rest of it is just going to evaporate. Like the point of this is so that you're, when you're breathing in the air, you don't get like a dry throat. You just add the water so it humidifies and warms the air. If it's just vapor, then there's not gonna be like impurities going into your nose anyway. So I think that's just kind of ridiculous to say that you need a new bottle every single night. Yeah, like I said, there's like a plastic taste. It's not that great. This one tastes exactly the same. Like it's just identical. Yeah, no, no smell. Tastes pretty good. Um, this does have a little bit of stuff in it. it. Has bicarbonates, chloride, silica, calcium, magnesium, and sodium, but just a little bit. Um, and it does kind of show up in the taste. I mean, it tastes a little bit like tap water, to be honest. Not like not. It's not bad. But it's uh, a little bit like tap water. There's a quote about how the Mayans were all about being natural and not adding mechanical stuff to water and just keeping it pure. And then the bottle was like, keep it in the bottle to be pure and natural. But isn't that like the opposite of being natural? Like using a bottle to drink out of and then throwing away the bottle. All right, I'm gonna do the pH test. Okay, here's the results of the pH test. That's Goddess of Water in the middle. They're the only one that advertise a pH level. They say 7.5. To me, it looks a little bit more acidic than a 7.5, but you guys look at the chart yourself and decide. If the TSA really does allow you to bring these on an airplane, isn't that pretty insane? Websites say that they allow this on a carry-on. Normally they do not allow big things of fluids because it could be like a bomb, I guess, or it could be flammable or something. If you just tell them, oh, it's for my CPAP machine, how would they know? Like you could just like, or if you wanted to bring on other drinks or like vodka or something, you just put it in here. The TSA would have no way of knowing. Just say, oh, it's for my CPAP. And then you could go through security, apparently. Or apparently not sometimes. It's like, it's okay for this, but not for another bottle of water for some weird reason. I did another video where I talked about how I use a CPAP machine. I'm kind of like a little bit insecure about it and a little self-conscious. So it's weird that I'm doing a whole you know, video about it. I'm gonna try it on. This is what it looks like when I fall asleep every night. <sighs> yeah, I wear this every night when I sleep. So, otherwise, I just stop breathing. People think that having sleep apnea is snoring, but no, it's when you stop breathing. And um, whenever I stop, this just pumps air into my nose and I keep breathing and it seriously makes a big difference. I'm way less tired since I got this thing. The weird thing about this is there's a SIM card in this device. So there's a website where I can go on and see how much I slept last night and see how well I slept. Isn't that weird? Just random devices like this have <laughs> SIM cards that send data around the world like wirelessly. Another weird thing about this is somehow it knows <laughs> when the power cable is not plugged in all the way. <laughs> See, it says the power cable is not fully plugged in. So how is it getting power to know that? Like either it has power or it doesn't. How does it know how far the cable was plugged in in the back? Isn't that weird? Like there's some kind of sensor detecting how far you plugged in the cable in the back. That's, that's interesting to me. Let's finish up the Goddess of Water. This is a good one. It's really awesome of them to have sent this to me. I'm just curious what the inside looks like. I'm, I'm guessing it's going to be all metallic like. But let's take a look.
Oh, it's less shiny than I was expecting. See all the... Oops. Oh, I guess I didn't drink all of it. Oh. See how the bottom is super reflective? I was kind of expecting the inside to be like that, but it's... It is reflective, but not as much as the bottom. All right, I'm going to say that the winner is the Goddess of Water one. And they're moving on to the next round. And this is the fifth to last round one video. There's only four more round one videos after this. Then the reviews are coming to an end. Congratulations, Goddess of Water. Moving on to the next round.